good morning i am dr zahir from chemistry department now we are going to see an important topic in quantum chemistry is uh, photoelectric effect now what is mean by photoelectric effect so when a beam of high frequency radiation like uv visible falls on a metal what happens is the electrons are ejected from the metal so when a beam of radiation is allowed to strike on a metal the electrons are ejected from the metal surface this phenomenon is known as photoelectric effect the electrons that are ejected are known as photoelectrons a few metals show this effect by using visible light and it has been find, found out that many metals are showing this phenomena using uv light but when x rays are used almost all the metals are exhibiting this phenomena the electrons that are ejected is known as photoelectrons and remember that this process is an instantaneous process instantaneous process means there is no time gap between the absorption and the ejection of the radiation there is no time gap there is no induction period it is an instantaneous process it is an instantaneous process this is the diagrammatic representation of photoelectric effect that is incident light falls on the metal surface and from the surface electrons are ejected and these electrons are known as photoelectrons now this is the experimental arrangement given or shown for studying photoelectric effect here a beam of light is allowed to fall on the metal surface which is connected to the negatively charged one and what happens is when the light is falling on the negatively charged plate what happens is electrons are ejected out electrons are negatively charged therefore they are passing towards attracted towards positively charged plate and i can say there is a flow of current through the circuit and this flow of current is uh, can be measured with the help of the galvanometer now after performing experiment after performing experiment the experimental observations are concluded in the form of the experimental observations are concluded in the form of loss the loss are known as loss of photoelectricity so loss of photoelectricity is nothing but the conclusions drawn after the experiment done on this uh, uh, apparatus using this apparatus there are four or five points or postulates we can say that is known as loss of photoelectricity what is the first postulate first point the total photoelectric current the total photoelectric current that is photoelectric current is directly proportional to the number of electrons so number of electrons ejected is directly proportional to the photoelectric current that is the photoelectric current according to law of photoelectric emission is directly proportional to intensity of the radiation it is directly proportional to intensity of the radiation that is if you increase the intensity of the incident radiation the number of electrons that are ejected from the metal is increased and remember that the velocity is not changed if you increase the intensity so the number of electrons are emitted is directly proportional to intensity of light intensity is directly proportional to number of electrons emitted that is the first point our first law i can say first observation second one is there is a very important concept that is known as threshold frequency 
what is meant by threshold with frequency see no electrons are emitted from the metal until the frequency of the incident light becomes a certain larger value larger than a certain value that is a minimum value that value is known as threshold frequency so if you apply threshold frequency or greater than threshold frequency electrons are ejected if you give the frequency lesser than frequency threshold frequency minimum frequency uh, no electrons are ejected so if you are having 50 50 is the threshold frequency if you give 30 40 electrons will not be ejected only when you reach only when you reach frequency equal to around 50 electrons are ejected out even after 50 60 70 also the electrons are ejected out but there is a minimum frequency of emission that is necessary for the emission of radiation sorry electrons that frequency is known as threshold frequency and each and every metal will be having its own threshold frequency and for uh, alkali metals it has been shown that it is low that is the second point i can see now third point is what happens if you give the frequency higher than the threshold frequency at frequencies higher than the threshold frequency what happens here is the electrons are ejected with extra kinetic energy with extra kinetic energy so the excess kinetic energy is observed when you when you give radiation of high frequency than threshold frequency and this extra kinetic energy excess kinetic energy is independent of intensity it is not depending upon the intensity it is only depending upon the frequency so energy is depending upon frequency and in the first point we have seen number of electrons is proportional to intensity so intensity is proportional to number of electrons frequency or energy of radiation is proportional to the kinetic energy of the electrons and already we have seen that the fourth point is the process is an instantaneous process this process is an instantaneous process that is there is no time gap between absorption and emission this is the point that is not explained by classical mechanics later on we are going to see and only the Einstein theory of photoelectricity can be able to explain why this process is found to be instantaneous. Now, classical mechanics fails. Classical mechanics fails in explaining photoelectric effect. In explaining photoelectric effect. That is, classical mechanics cannot be able to explain the loss of photoelectricity that we have seen now. See, what is according to classical theory, according to classical magnetic theory, the velocity and the energy of ejected electrons should increase with intensity. Classical mechanics says, both the velocity and the energy of the electrons should increase if you increase the intensity. This is the postulate of or explanation given by classical mechanics. But actually what is happening? But actually what is happening? In our experiment, if you increase the intensity, there is only an increase in the number of electrons. There is no change in the velocity or the energy if you increase the intensity. Therefore, the first point, first law of electricity, photoelectricity, cannot be explained by classical mechanics. Can, uh, cannot be explained by classical mechanics. And one more point we have seen that is known as threshold frequency. That is if the frequency of the incident light is not above a certain value that is known as threshold frequency. No electrons are ejected regardless of how long the light may be is allowed to shine on the surface of the metal.
So that concept of threshold frequency, why that minimum frequency is required? What is the concept of frequency, threshold frequency? That is not explained by classical theory. Now, for the removal of electron from the metal surface, radiation of particular energy is required, that is known as threshold frequency, that is known as minimum frequency. Now, according to classical mechanics, the radiation is behaving like a wave. According to classical mechanics, classical mechanics assumes that electromagnetic radiation is propagated in the form of wave as well as in the form of bigger wave front, we can say. See, when the wave form or wave front form is allowed to fall on the metal, is allowed to fall on the metal, we can say that only a lesser quantity of energy will be transferred to the metal. Only lesser quantity of energy will be transferred to the metal. And that energy is not sufficient to remove the electron from the metal. So what we have to do in order to remove the electron from the metal? We have to send several wave fronts or several waves of electromagnetic radiation to the metal surface. And as a result, what will happen is, step by step, energy will be accumulated and after some time what will happen is the electrons will be ejected out. So if the radiation is behaving like a wave form, according to classical mechanics, the electrons should be emitted only after some time because it needs energy, it needs energy. That energy can be gain only after several wave fronts of wave attacks the metal surface. So, if you use this phenomena, if you use this concept, electron emission is taking place only after some time, after some period. There is an induction period. But what we are observing, but what we are observing, we are observing that the electrons are not ejected after some time, they are ejected instantaneously, immediately. So, we can say that the radiation is not behaving like a wave, it is behaving like some other thing and that is not explained by classical mechanics. So, the instantaneous emission of photoelectrons is contrary to the classical mechanics uh, observation. So, I can say that classical theory fails to explain the experimental observations of photoelectric effect. Now, we are going to see Einstein theory of photoelectricity or we can say quantum theory of photoelectricity. So, Einstein explained this phenomenon of photoelectric effect using the ideas of modern quantum theory. So, according to modern quantum theory, the light is made up of stream of photons. It is nothing but quanta having an energy E is equal to H nu. Nu is the frequency, H is the Planck's constant, E is the energy, E is the energy. Now suppose the minimum frequency required to remove the electron is known as threshold frequency that is known as nu zero. If you multiply nu zero with h that will give the energy of photon, that will give the energy of photon. So that is known as threshold energy, nu zero means threshold frequency, h nu zero means energy of photon. Now, if you give H nu zero, if you give a light of this frequency, of this energy that is known as H nu zero, it is giving its entire energy to the electron. It is giving entire energy to the electron. When the photon, 
is interacting with the electron of the metal what happens is it gives its entire energy to the electron and as a result what happens is the electron is coming out of the metal surface by breaking its attractive forces so this is the first case if you give h nu sorry h nu zero suppose if you give frequency lesser than nu zero there is no ejection of electron first point is if you give h nu zero ejection of electron will take place second point if you give lesser than h nu zero no ejection of electrons suppose if the energy is greater than threshold energy or threshold frequency that is known as h nu that is known as h nu if you give energy greater than h nu that energy will be used up in two ways that energy will be used up in two ways one is known as h nu h nu is equal to phi plus half mv square phi means work function of the metal that is nothing but h nu zero h nu zero means a part of the energy is used in ejecting the electron just from the surface of the metal and that energy is known as work function of the metal so phi is known as work function of the metal the remaining energy the remaining energy is used up in giving kinetic energy to the molecule to the electron so that is known as half mv square therefore if you give h nu that is greater than threshold frequency for example threshold frequency is 50 and you are giving 80 so according to einstein theory of electricity 50 will be used for ejecting the electron and the remaining 30 will be used up for giving kinetic energy of the electron because according to law of conservation of energy energy before the collision should be equal to energy after the collision therefore i can say that h nu is equal to phi phi means work function of the metal that is equal to h nu zero plus half mv square if at all you want to want half mv square if at all you want to half mv square that is equal to h nu minus h nu zero and you can see this uh, equation is known as einstein photoelectric equation half mv square is equal to h nu minus h nu zero and this equation is known as photoelectric equation and you can see in the diagram the first diagram if you give the energy lesser than frequency no electrons are ejected in the second diagram if you give energy equal to threshold frequency just the electrons are ejected out if you give energy greater than threshold frequency that is in the third diagram electrons are ejected with more kinetic energy and remember that if you increase the intensity of the radiation number of electrons are ejected more number of electrons are ejected with same kinetic energy and that is explained by this einstein equation and this successful explanation of photoelectric effect by einstein gives an evidence gives an evidence in favor of particle nature of light or corpuscular nature of light already we know that the electromagnetic radiation is behaving like a wave we know number of evidences like uh, uh, diffraction and interference but electromagnetic radiation is behaving like a photon what is the evidence for particle nature corpuscular nature that is photoelectric effect so photoelectric effect is an experimental effect of particle nature or corpuscular nature